Hello and welcome to Easy Learn About Japan, the channel that introduces you to Japan's rich culture and history in a fun and easy to understand way. After watching this video, you will definitely become a Japan connoisseur. In today's episode, we'll explore the art of Shoto, also known as Japanese calligraphy. So, let's get started. The origins of Shoto can be traced back to Chinese calligraphy, which was introduced to Japan around the 6th century. Initially practiced by nobility and the samurai class, it quickly spread throughout the society and evolved into a unique form of Japanese art and expression. The beauty of Shoto lies not just in its visual aesthetics, but in its embodiment of cultural and philosophical values. Beyond creating beautiful characters, it's a spiritual journey that teaches patience, discipline, and the concept of Ichigo, Ichie, one chance, one moment. The art of Shoto is brought to life through four principal tools known as the Bunbogu or four treasures of the study. These include the Fude, brush, Sumi, ink, washi, paper, and suzuri, inkstone. Each of these tools holds a special place in the art of Shoto. The fude, usually made from animal hair, creates the strokes, with its flexibility and thickness affecting the style of the script. The sumi is a unique carbon-based ink stick, providing the color to the script when ground against the suzuri with water. There are three main styles in Shoto, Kaisho, Gyosho, and Sasho. Kaisho, or block style, is the most formal and clear, often used in official documents. Gyosho, or semi-cursive, provides a balance between formality and artistic fluidity. Sasho, or cursive style, is the most abstract emphasizing the spiritual essence and the artist's emotion over literal meaning. Mastery of all three styles reflects a calligrapher's skill and depth of understanding in this beautiful art form. Shoto is not confined to the art studios or historical manuscripts, its influence permeates everyday life in Japan. It's found in the subtle curves of restaurant menus, the elegant strokes on the nameplates outside homes, and the beautifully written seasonal phrases on scrolls. Shoto is an art form that transcends the bounds of time and place. Today, some artists bring Shoto to life before a live audience, creating large-scale works of calligraphy in a performance that is as compelling and dramatic as it is serene and meditative. Shoto shares a profound connection with Zen philosophy. From the delicate grinding of sumi ink, to the rhythmic dance of the fude brush on washi paper, every aspect of Shoto requires mindfulness and concentration. It's often referred to as moving Zen. In a sense, the calligraphy brush becomes an extension of the artist's mind and heart, reflecting their inner state of being. Inner tranquility and focus can lead to beautifully formed characters, while turbulence or impatience may result in distorted strokes. If you're inspired to learn Shoto, there are numerous schools and workshops across the world and online platforms offering courses. As a beginner, you'd typically start with learning the Kaisho style mastering the basic strokes and gradually moving on to more complex characters and styles like Gyosho and Sasho. Remember, learning Shoto is not just about creating beautiful characters, it's a journey of self-improvement, requiring patience, precision, practice, and a deep appreciation for the process. Did you know that Shoto influences modern typography and logo design? 
Several global brands often use Shoto-inspired fonts for a unique blend of tradition and modernity. A lesser-known fact is the existence of Koshu, an aged sumi production technique. Koshu involves preserving the ink for years, developing a unique depth of color. Shoto isn't limited to paper, some artists use large brushes and water to create transient, large-scale beach art, merging the temporal beauty of Shoto with the natural environment. We hope you enjoyed today's episode of Easy Learn About Japan. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting insights into Japanese culture and history. And don't forget to click like button too. Until next time, sayonara.